Zhao's 1946 painting *Happy Farmers* is set in his hometown of Taishan, with the beautiful, vast farmland serving as a backdrop. The main figures within the frame are his family members, who supported him throughout his career. They are seen gathered together, eating after the harvest. The image of an entire family gathering together for a delicious meal during a period of rocky transition and uncertainty conveys a sense of peace and stability. There is a reason why the painting is titled "Happy Farmers." We see both the endless fields of golden rice waiting to be harvested. And the farmers working next to the fields. This scenery is based on Li Shijiao's memories of his hometown. Mount Guanyin is visible in the distance beyond the fields and the pond. The way Mount Guanyin is depicted in this painting is from the perspective of Taishan, which is different from the way it looks when you view it from Danshui. The two sides of the mountain look different. If we look at Mount Guanyin from the Wu Gu Yang Mei section of Freeway Number One, we can still see a mountain similar to the portrayal in Li's paintings. Li Shijiao has captured a wide range of different cultural elements in this painting. They include the way people harvested and ate together after a day of hard work. In addition to that, Li also captured an important geographical element in northern Taiwan, Mount Guanyin, and the fields next to it. This makes the painting a very important piece of cultural heritage that is worth preserving. Looking more closely at the painting, we can see Li's white-haired father sitting to the right. Li painted his father many times throughout his career. He painted many portraits of him at different times. His wife is sitting on the left, working hard to take care of Li's children. The child beside her is probably Li's younger daughter. She sits quietly, holding her rice bowl, as if deep in thought. Li's older daughter is seen standing behind her grandpa, looking pensive as well. Li's first daughter was born in 1931, and at the time when Li painted this piece, she was attending Taipei First Girls High School. However, Li asked her to change into the clothing of a farm girl and stand barefoot in the fields, and wear an outfit befitting her assumed role, along with a farmer's hat. Serving as Li's model required a lot of her spare time. One unforgettable feature of this painting is the use of color. We cannot forget the beautiful colors used in this painting, especially the splendid gold of the rice paddies. Li's use of gold makes it look like everything is bathed in sunlight, and the sunlight spills over onto different objects as well as people. Every person in the painting is covered in intense sunlight. We can see traces of the sun on people's faces and chests, as well as on the backs of the workers. Li's older daughter is also bathed in golden sunlight, except for her face, because the sun is at her back. This minor detail showcases the realism. Employed in Li's painting, and his grasp of the details, as well as his astute observation, that is why the work is one of the most important post-war paintings in the Taipei Fine Arts Museum collection. It is also one of Li Shijiao's favorite paintings.